I am so excited because I am going winter camping for the first time ever tonight. I'm packing a lot of stuff because I want this to be a fun and comfortable experience as much as it can be. Hopefully everything goes well and I will see you when I'm camping. We have set up the tent. It was our first time setting up the tent and it's dark out, so that was a little bit of a challenge. Also, we're on right on a rock. There's a lot of rocks up here in this area. So putting the stakes in for the tent was a little bit of a struggle, but now I know for future, I should probably get some stringy things to attach to the anchors on the tent so that I can reach them out farther away from the rocks. Now we're gathering firewood. I. Just had to go to the bathroom, so I'm kind of out here by myself. Jason's already getting some firewood put together. I don't love going to the bathroom by myself in the woods at night. I always feel like there's something watching me, and it's probably because there is something watching me. There's animals everywhere, but I'm gonna go help put some firewood together. <laughs> Jason just cut and brought in pretty much all of the wood. And we've got our stuff so kind of set out and now we're about to try and I think and get cozy, maybe start cooking. What are you doing? Delicious fresh caught perch. Fresh isn't caught the other day. Have you been winter camping before? Um, yes, but not in a very long time. And when I went winter camping before, we built what is called a Quincy, which is just a big pile of snow with a hole in it. Very cold. It's nice and toasty in here. The floor is cold though. So we've got Jason's feet on a rug. I'm sitting on a rug blanket. So I came outside to <clears throat> fill up this pan here with snow so we can get some water without drilling a hole into the ice. And the tent looks gorgeous with the light inside out here. I'm a little cold, so I'm gonna go back in. But it's a nice night out. Cooking up some snow. After a couple times of filling our pot with snow to melt for water, we decided it would be easier just to drill a hole in the ice and have access to water that way. We wrapped ourselves up in our warm sleeping bags around 10 p.m. and went to sleep with the fire still roaring. Did you stay warm? Well, no. <laughs> Not enough. Yeah, our fire didn't last the whole night. We could restart it, but we don't have a ton of wood. We got here pretty late, so we didn't have a chance to gather a lot of wood, and we want to have enough to cook and things for breakfast. So we're just snuggled inside our sleeping bags.
What are you making? Um, right now I'm just working on the potatoes and onions and carrots. And in a minute here, once these get softened up, we'll add some chicken and have some delicious tikka masala sauce. I slept pretty decent in here last night for having the fire go out. We didn't have enough firewood, so we kind of just let it go out and our sleeping bags were warm enough to keep us warm through the night. And now we've got the fire going again and we're cooking and it's lightly snowing outside, so it's pretty, pretty gorgeous. Just putting some of our sleeping stuff away right now so that we can do it when it's nice and warm and the stove's going for the food. Wow. It's a lot of food. It looks pretty good. So we've got a lot of this cleaned up in here. We're gonna let the stove cool down while we go fishing and we've got things pretty much set up to go fishing now. So we're gonna head out. It's snowing lightly and it's actually not too cold out right now. So hopefully we get some fish and then we'll come back and pack up the tent here before we head back um, home today. So we're just out for one night. But the water that came out of the hole is so muddy looking, it's kind of gross. Which is surprising, because isn't it 19 feet deep? 20 feet deep for the box. Oh. So we're about to pack up and head out. Um, Jason's out driving his snowmobile because he wanted to just whip it around a little bit on the lake. But I'm gonna start bringing all the things from the tent down to the, to the ice so that we're ready to go. Might as well get started. I don't really wanna drive around on the lake right now. I, to be honest, I'm terrified of being on lakes. So I'd rather pack up the tent. How was it? We're taking all the steaks out. Got the steak big here. Got one left of these outer ones and then we've got all the inner ones down here. So it's a little bit of a process. Some of them are kind of hard to take out actually, but it's not too bad. Got the tent down, that's where it was. 